The cardiometabolic risk is a clustering of various risk factors which put an individual at high risk of developing type 2 diabetes in cardiovascular disease. It, it also includes the abdominal obesity, the visceral obesity, and several of the markers that we have not been considering traditionally while defining overall risk of cardiovascular disease. Cardiometabolic risk is not something different from metabolic syndrome, nor it has been coined to replace the term metabolic syndrome. Uh, we have known that metabolic syndrome involves insulin resistance, uh, obesity in terms of large waist, high triglycerides, blood pressure, high blood pressure, low HDL cholesterol. But cardiometabolic risk includes, you know, in addition to all these risk factors, high LDL cholesterol, inflammation, high CRP, smoking, physical inactivity, unhealthy eating, and some psychosocial issues like stress and depression and high blood, bl blood glucose, in addition to race, gender, age, and family history. So all of these together, and also each one of these independently increase the risk of heart disease and other related complications. So cardiometabolic risk is a global risk condition involving all these conditions that increase an individual's overall risk of developing type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Therefore, it is very important to detect treat and control for these risk factors well in time before it gets too late. Lifestyle modifications like weight reduction, regular exercise, uh, healthy diet, uh, quitting smoking all have benefits in terms of reducing the risk factors. So we must understand that improvement in any one of these markers uh, results in improvement in other markers because our body does not work in isolation. Similarly, when there is any one of these uh, markers present in a person, there could be other related conditions as well that have not been previously diagnosed. So clinicians should screen their patients during their regular visits for any or all of these risk factors for heart disease and diabetes. So how will this screening help? Well, first of all, this will help them understand the comprehensive picture of their patient's overall health and alert them about any possible future health condition. Secondly, this will also facilitate better communication with their patient to make better clinical decisions once they have identified different markers. And finally, this will help them intervene at an early stage as we know that conditions like insulin resistance and hyperglycemia occur long before the clinical diagnosis of diabetes. So this type of routine screening and early assessment may help both the physician and the patient work together to address important lifestyle changes like healthy eating, quitting smoking if they smoke, uh, include 30 minutes or more of exercise or physical activity of any kind five days a week to avoid risk of developing uh, diabetes and heart disease. So such an assessment can provide great tools to clinicians and their patients for a comprehensive and a broader management of different health conditions, especially for cardiovascular disease and uh, diabetes risk. So this is in brief uh, what is a cardiometabolic risk.